screen it says perimeter of rectangles and polygons. And here is some examples of our, oops, sorry, too far, of our rectangles and polygons. So polygons is just a fancy way of saying shapes, like a shape with more than three sides. So, you know, we have our triangles, we have our squares, rectangles, those are all polygons. And in a rectangle, what's special about a rectangle is that this side is going to measure the same as this side. So these two sides will be the exact same. And then these two sides are going to be the exact same length in a rectangle. And then in a square, all your sides are the exact same length. You, um, so if this side is four here, then all of these are also four. And that's what makes a square special. And so when you see a rectangle and it asks you for the perimeter, remember the perimeter is the measurement of the outside of your shape. Um, you can figure it out because you, you know that this side right here is four. So this side over here is also going to be four. And this side here is 10. So this side over here is also going to be 10. And now you have all the sides you need to add up to figure out your shape, um, your rectangle or your perimeter of your shape. So I'm going to just add those together. So, you know, 10 plus 10 is 20. You can write it out on your paper, or on a piece of paper, or um, just kind of do it in your head. And then four plus four is eight, so we'd add 20 plus eight, and we would get 28, like so. And so that's, so let's take a look at this one here. So this one gives us this side here and this side here. We can't just add up the four and seven and be done and say that's our perimeter, because that would just be this side, and this would just be that side. So instead, you know that this side is the same as this side, so that you know that this would become four, and you know that this would be seven. And now you have a measurement for all your sides, and you just add those up. Four plus four is eight. Seven plus seven is 14. Add them up. Eight plus four, oops, there's my plus sign. Eight plus four is 12. Carry your one. One plus one is two. So your perimeter would be 22. And that would just be your answer. You don't need to put anything else. Your answer would just be 22. Sorry, my pen's not working. And then let's take a look at a square. Like I said, if one, if they just give you one side, like they did, I did right here, you know that all the other sides are going to be the exact same. So you know that this side's going to be six, this side's going to be six, and this side's going to be six. And you can just add all of those up. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus another 6 plus 6 is 12, and you get 24. One more slide, and then I will have you ask any questions. So give me one more second. So this is also a polygon. It doesn't look like a rectangle. It doesn't look like a square, but it's a closed shape that has sides, and like so. So you just have to make sure you add up every single number you see here. And it might help you to get a piece of paper, draw it out, so you can kind of make a check mark as you go. Um, and I'll show you how I do that here. So I like to start with the biggest sides. So 9 plus 7, which is 16. And then I like to give it a little check because I know, okay, I've got those two sides done. And then, well, this one's pretty easy. 5 plus 5, you guys know that, how to make 10. So 5 plus 5 is 10, and you add it to your 16, and you get 26. And then add your 4 to your 26. Sorry, my pen's not working. There we go. And we would get 30, and we've got that 4. And then we just add our 2 there, and we get our total perimeter of 32. We've now added all of our sides. So when you have a bunch of sides like this, more than the four that we find in a rectangle, just make sure you get every single number and add them up. Um, let me do something real quick and then I'll have you ask any questions you may have. One second. Okay. 